Thank you for listening to the 39th Street Church Christ Daily Devotional. The devotional today is I Surrender All by Jack Williams. Do you surrender? You know, kids playing around. You play cops and robbers. You play old westerns, whatever it is. The bad guy is supposed to surrender. And that's what we want to see. I like to watch the old westerns and such were good triumphs. The surrender is the bad guy giving up. Well, in our Christian life, it's even greater, isn't it? Not really a comparison. We sing about it. We sing that song, I Surrender All. You know, all to Jesus I surrender. Humbly at his feet I bow. I mean, that's a beautiful picture, isn't it? The surrender of evil. It's what sin is. And surrendering to Jesus, the one who is the ultimate good, the one who died to make it possible for us to have that good in our life. You think about one man, and I, I think about Saul, who became the great apostle Paul. And you think about him, and you find, you know, he had a lot to surrender. In the book of Galatians, the first chapter, in verse 4, he profited in the Jews' of religion above all others, and he was zealous of the traditions of his fathers. Now, you think about that. So many times today, people say, well, I can't give up. I can't surrender because, you know, I've been doing this this way all my life. Or this is the way my family's always done it. Well, the apostle Paul took that to the nth degree. And if you think about what he had to give up, in the book of Philippians, the third chapter, he, he says that he could boast more than any other because of his training, his background, his position, all of that. But what he ultimately said is, I counted it all but dung. Why? Well, you find really the key in the account of his conversion in Acts, the ninth chapter. Beginning in verse 3, it says, As he journeyed, he came to Damascus, and suddenly there shined a light from heaven. He fell to the earth and heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? He said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am he, I am Jesus, that you persecutest. It's hard for you to kick against the pricks. Well, Saul now was trembling and astonished. And he said, Lord, what wilt thou have me do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it should be told thee what thou must do. Now, did you see the key of that? You see the key to Saul's surrender and ultimately our surrender. He said, Lord, what wilt thou have me do? You see, Saul, as long as he didn't recognize Jesus as Lord, he could do the things that he did, ultimately persecuting Jesus, persecuting the church, a murderer, a blasphemer. And in Acts 23 and verse 1, he did it in all good conscience. But when he recognized Jesus was Lord, later on he would even write by inspiration that Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. And when he recognized that, the things that once were dear to him, that elevated him in the eyes of others around him, that gave him the position that he sought in this earth. He said, I count them but dung. Why? If you go back to the Philippian letter, he says that I might win Christ. You see, nothing else matters. And it is then and only then that whenever we recognize that, that nothing else matters. If I don't have Christ, why go on? But when I recognize that, I surrender all. I don't just sing the song, I live the life. So you go forth today and you think about, when am I going to surrender all? I may try to hold on to my pet sins. I may try to justify them. Well, God's grace is going to cover it. No, it won't. Everybody else is doing it. Well, not those who are walking in the light. When am I going to quit justifying myself? It's whenever I recognize that he is Lord and I'm not. And it's then that I will humbly at his feet
about and say, Lord, what would I have me do? And I won't kick against the pricks, but instead, I'll simply do what he says. In becoming a child of God, Saul, whenever he went into the city as he was commanded, he was told, Why tarriest thou? Rise and be baptized. Wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Whenever he did that, he just as he talked to those in the Roman church, whenever they were baptized, whenever Saul was baptized, they were entering into the body of Christ and rising to walk in the newness of life, and Saul did it, and thus he was then named the Apostle Paul. And he lived that life following Jesus, so much so that he said, Be ye followers of me as I am also of Christ. Well, I can live that life, you can live that life, if we look to Jesus as Lord and do what he says. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. And live it recognizing that Jesus is Lord and thus do his will. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.